This is uh, EPMD. Uh, they did a lot of story rhymes, but but this one, um, number, 40, number 46. Let's just get to it. All right. So the story starts with E Double and a girl named Kim. He met her at a um, hip hop club. Very very sweaty girl from the dance from the dance floor. Uh, she was doing she was doing the, uh, the, the Steve Martin I, I, I assume. Um, she was trying to get Eric to leave the club because you know she met Eric and she wanted to sex him down. So so Eric Sermon knowing this he rolls a blunt. I guess in the club. I guess and listen people roll blunts in the club. So he rolls a blunt and uh, they went back to Kim's house. And uh, uh, she was she was clearly living right, judging by her crib. Um, and you know she was ready for the gym. But um, not only was her crib dope, she cooks. She cooks. She 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 offered uh, Eric Sermon some barbecue ribs. Listen, that's that's strong. You you meet a you meet a banging chick at the club goes to her you go to a place or places like that and and she has ribs she has barbecue ribs um you can't you can't beat that um but eric sermon declines the ribs doesn't want any ribs but he asked for some gin actually asked for a gin rummy because he had to run um they settle in and she plays uh roni by by mr bobby brown bobby bradford brown um by the time it was it was really to get down to business, uh, E Double suggests that she puts on some uh, some James Brown so they can get into it. Um, now this may have taken Kim by surprise because she says uh, no kinky stuff like ropes or handcuffs, but when you love me, please don't be rough. Like Jesus, I just wanted to hear some James Brown, but. Um, E Dubs responds uh, with singing that he'll be gentle. I'll be gentle, I'll be very gentle when I'm loving you. When I'm loving you. <laughs> Before they could really get down down to it, Eric decided it wasn't worth it. He didn't he didn't like uh, fishing. He didn't like fishing, and. <laughs> And he also becomes the first rapper to use Tutti Frutti on, a, on wax, on a hip hop song. Um, you can call me gay or Tutti Frutti, but I won't touch it until I know who's booty. Uh, we're the surmise that um, um, things were uh, malodorous <laughs> in the uh, crotchal region there. And um, he 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 didn't want any parts of that, which is a shame, you know. Ribs has has some nice gin off the blunt a little bit, and then she uh, she smells like uh, the Gordon's fisherman down there. It's it's not good. It's not a good look. But um, that is the end of the first part of Who's Booty. Now it's PMD's turn. This is the one. This is the first story in the countdown. It has kind of two separate parts, two separate stories, but counts as a story rhyme nonetheless. Now, PMD, he's rolling around talking to Eric on his cell phone, on his car mobile phone, because back then, most of the time, if you had a phone in your car, it stayed in the car. It's a whole thing. Um, but he was taken aback by a woman who was checking him out. And he was while he was driving, riding around his car. So he parks the car, he turns the music down, and he spits game. You know, he asks, he asks, um, was she new in town? Because um, Parrish can spot a newbie. She, uh, she actually says yes, and, and PMD offers her a ride. And, and the woman actually has some brains. See, back then, you know, you actually people they weren't that dumb. But she says, my mother always told me not to ride with strangers, and if I did then my life will be in danger, which, you know, technically, uh, but relentless Parrish. He says uh, he's not a stranger, but he's a well-known singer. <laughs> you know, I mean, technically, this is the second album, and he is. Um, she, gets, she gets in the car, 
with him, even though Parrish clearly had a 40 ounce of beer in his lap. See, this is, you know, drinking and driving, you know. The, the whole thing about having brains just goes out the window since, you know, he was clearly drinking and driving. But drinking and driving wasn't a thing back then. But he did have a uh, 40 of old gold in his lap. Um, though, on this very tape, you had you had too much to drink on, on Unfinished Business. Anyway, uh, the genius gets in the car with the inebriated uh, uh, well-known singer. <laughs> and she asks uh, P... Since he's a P, PMD, if he's a medical doctor, if the MD stands for med- medical doctor, and he says, uh, close but no cigar, I'm the microphone doctor who performs open surgery on MCs who are willing, except to try to save them, I try to kill them. So, you know, he just spits a quick bar in the face. Um, so, Parrish drives home. He, he takes her... Uh, um, to, he takes her to her her place. See, she lives with her mother, who wasn't there. Her mother wasn't home. So naturally, uh, Parrish lights a blunt <laughs> while also drinking the aforementioned forty dog. So uh, he also has a blunt, and and he and he has a forty. So things is good. Um, they make they make their way to her room, um, and Parrish straps on the condom because he's responsible. So, hey, he's a very responsible young man. Um, though as he got ready, uh, he's getting ready to, to get on with the get down. <laughs> he too <laughs> notices a smell. He says the booty was co kicking like they call me Bruce. Um, he said <laughs> he had to cover his nose not to ruin the mood because he knew he wasn't fishing, but he smelled seafood. Smelt like shrimp or lobster, the tuna of the sea, and it wasn't worth catching the A to I to D to the S. Oh, yes, the S is for safe sex. Um, <laughs> not saying that stank vagina meant AIDS, but <laughs> listen, it's uh, safe to say nothing good could come of it. Um, the hesitation made the girl grab him close and, <laughs> and, Pete, and Pete asked, Ask her if she douched or not. <laughs> and, and, which is, that's dope. I mean, she's like, yo, come on. And like, yo, did you douche? <laughs> Clearly, he knew the answer. But anyway, she said no, because she's not a swinger. And Parrish uh, wasn't buying it after he smelled his fingers. That's, that's his words, not mine. That's what he said. I wasn't there. Um, feeling like he played himself, PMD got up, uh, grabbed his stuff, and he dipped. And, um... <laughs> This didn't make the girl happy, which uh, prompted Parrish to pause. And when you hear the song, I'm going to play the song in a second. He pauses for a few beats and looked her in the eye and asked, Whose booty? Listen, um, I love this song. Uh, me and my boys joked about this all the time when it dropped uh, the, the Misadventures of Sour Crotches. Uh, the fact that the girl got moody, I looked eye to eye and said, <laughs> and then he's, look, we used to, we used to go see how long we could go and with the pause before we said who's booty before the other person just bust out laughing. Anyway, look, I'm about to play the song. That is, um, that is number 46, Who's Booty, EPMD, Unfinished Business, um, uh, by the way, listen to the EPMD podcast that I that I did. That's that's in our archives. It's pretty good. Um, but let me play the song. I'll be back for um, number forty five. In the meantime, in between time, hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> 